Take a look though at the record for today. Yes, 107 in Salt Lake City. Previous record, 103. But again, 107, that's the hottest temperature ever recorded in Salt Lake City. It's only happened four times in known history here. So this is a rare occurrence here. And we're going to keep the heat going around as we take a look at your temperatures here along the Wasatch Front. We're still in triple digit territory in Salt Lake City. 103 currently 100 in Logan. 90s as we turn towards central Utah. 80s though in Milford as we're looking at a line of thunderstorms tracking through west central Utah. Right now in St. George you're at 105. Okay, let's take a look at radar where we'll be getting some help with some clouds and a chance of some rain showers. It's just the timing of it. Now move pushing towards the evening so not getting much of a break from the heat. But where we are seeing some active weather. As you can see, a few isolated thunderstorms just west of Bryce Canyon moving up through Fish Lake. You're tracking along I-15, some thunderstorms near Fillmore. Now, it's bringing some rain. This is helping with the halfway hill fire. But in addition with these thunderstorms, we are seeing some gusty winds. So that's the double-edged sword there that we're looking at. Tooele County, active weather. We actually do have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. North of Dugway, pushing through I-80. This is moving towards Tooele County, so we're keeping an eye on that. As those line of showers will continue to track to the north, and the east, which means it'll be impacting the Wasatch Front as we move ahead. So expect to see increasing clouds, temperatures decreasing, that chance of maybe seeing a shower or an isolated thunderstorm. So getting some help from Mother Nature to give us a break from the heat. But do we extend that break, uh, break for the work week? We'll let you know coming up.